How's it going everybody? My name is Benjamin Anderson and in today's video we're going to be continuing our series on deep link expressions by talking about the link to filtered view expression. Now if you are unsure what deep links are, uh, we have an intro video that we've linked in the description below and we recommend you start there. If you are here to understand the link to filtered view expression better, then you've come to the right place. Now to start with, what does this expression do? The link to filtered view expression is going to redirect your user to a view you have, but once it's there, it's going to filter the data based on a condition you've given it. So, for instance, here I am linking to my view time cards, but I want to make sure I'm only displaying time cards that have occurred within this year. So, if you don't want to make a whole slice, but are just wanting to display a certain set of table data or uh, deck data within a certain constraint, this is how you're going to want to do that. So let's talk about the parameters. The first parameter, similar to most other deep link expressions, is going to be the view you're trying to redirect to you're going to have to put in the name of the view you're looking for. If you're not sure where to find that, you're going to go to UX, the view you're looking for, and it's going to be here under view name. This isn't the view um, we're linking to in our example, but that's where you are going to find the name you're looking for. The next parameter is the conditional. Now this can be any condition you want, it just needs to return either a true or a false. Now, like I said, I have an example here to return all dates that have happened after January 1st of 2019, which is the year this was recorded. But if you wanted more complex conditionals with ands and ors, you can do that as well. The one thing that is different about this expression than a lot of the other deep link expressions is you can't link to views outside of the app you're currently in. The only parameters in the link to filtered view expression are the two that I've already talked about. There isn't a third optional parameter for you to go to an external app. That being said, that's it for this video. That is the link to filtered view expression and the parameters inside of it. If you have any questions, please feel free to throw them in the comments below. Thank you so much. We hope you have a great day. At Crew Technologies, we love helping people get great value out of AppSheet. We do that through offering professional services and helpful content like this. To stay up to date, like and subscribe, and we're always trying to improve. So leave us your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.